Hello everybody, I'm Sean Lavender, a PhD student here at the Faculty of Economics in Cambridge, and I'm very pleased to be joined today by Professor Geordie Gilly. Uh, Geordie is a senior researcher at the Centre for Research in International Economics, as well as a professor at UPF and the Barcelona School of Economics. He graduated from MIT in 1989 with a PhD in economics, and he's also held academic positions at NYU and Columbia University. As a key architect of the New Keynesian model, Geordie has written a number of seminal papers on the conduct of monetary and fiscal policy, as well as the drivers of the business cycle. As well as his papers, his textbook, Monetary Policy, Inflation and the Business Cycle, has long been an essential reference for all students and practitioners in the field of monetary economics. And Geordie will be delivering the Keynes Lecture on the 29th of April in Cambridge, entitled Rethinking the New Keynesian Model. So Geordie, we're very, very glad to have you uh, visiting to deliver the lecture and very happy to speak with you today. Okay, thank you. Happy to be here too. Thanks, Geordie. So the New Keynesian model has now been the dominant framework for the study of monetary policy for the last 25 years. But what do you see as the main emissions from the New Keynesian, lecture, uh, the New Keynesian literature? What do you think are the further developments that are required for the model to remain influential over the next decades? Okay, well, I think uh, there are many avenues of research that people are already working on um, that try to extend the basic New Keynesian model in order to incorporate a number of features or assumptions or phenomena that are important um, in the real world. So let me mention some of those extensions. So, uh, of course, a very important uh, avenue of research is uh, the introduction of heterogeneity, um, that is both at the level of uh, firms, okay, um, with some firms being subject to different, uh, say, productivity shocks, or at the level of households. And, uh, and you know, this, uh, this particular avenue of research has uh, given rise to, to uh, a literature usually referred to as Hank, you know, for heterogeneous agent New Keynesian models. Okay, now these models um, have become very popular, but at the same time, you know, um, are somewhat uh, controversial because uh, they are unusually complex relative to the standard models, and they require um, numerical methods in order to be solved, and so on. Okay. So I think an important line of research that I have been working on, uh, especially with my co-author Davide de Bortoli, um, has been has focused on on the extent to which uh, we can develop simple models that capture the key uh, ingredients and the key uh, mechanisms that work in this larger, um, more complex uh, Hank models. Okay, so uh, this. Um, has led us to propose um, what we call a generalized tank model, a tank for two agent New Keynesian model, that generalizes some of the work that has been done in this area, uh, among others by um, uh, Florian Bilby, who's a, a, a faculty member here at Cambridge. Um, and in a way that, uh, again, all those mechanisms at work in Hank models that differentiate them from the standard representative agent models are, are captured in a simple way. And, and, and those um, general, the generalized Hank model allows us to you know, carry out um, or to, to analyze the optimal monetary policy problem in a, in a, in, in, in a, in a relatively straightforward way. Uh, other developments that I think are important, uh, or extensions of the New Keynesian framework that I think will be important in the in the future, and on which there isn't still uh, or there isn't I don't know, um, a complete agreement yet, are the, for instance, the introduction of deviations from rational expectations, which has been you know, the benchmark assumption in, in in the New Keynesian model, and how how to model those deviations. I have been in particularly interested in the introduction of uh, bubbles uh, um, in, in, in assets, that is in deviation of 
of um, asset valuation from what we could call fundamental uh, valuation and the impact on, on the economy as a whole. I think the interaction between fiscal policy and monetary policy will be an important area uh, of um, research as well. And uh, finally, um, but, uh, to trying to understand um, the mechanisms through which unconventional monetary policies work. For way, forward guidance in particular is a relatively, can be embedded and it has been embedded in the New Keynesian model in a relatively straightforward way. Um, quantitative easing, on the other hand, uh, seems a bit more of a, of a challenge. So I think uh, there, there, there should be some some progress on that and some convergence also on the on the best way to do it. Now, in 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 my lecture, the purpose of my lecture, which as as you as you said, is um, rethinking the new Kings and model. So, what I will try to do in my lecture is to is to is to stress the um, um, the role that macro models, but in particular the new Keynesian model. Uh, can play in enhancing our understanding of the of the mechanisms that are at work uh, and that shape you know economic fluctuations. Um, and to me, this is as important as building you know large um, realistic models um, to understand fully the mechanisms at work, even if it's in in, in the context of relatively simple models. And uh, what I will try to do in, in my lecture, in which I will present material that is, is com completely new, um, is to provide an alternative approach to um, developing and presenting uh, the new Keynesian model that I think is much more useful um, in order to achieve that goal of understanding the mechanisms uh, at work. And in particular, it allows us to um, to capture some of these, uh, you know, extensions that I mentioned earlier that are desirable uh, of the basic model in a way that I think is much more um, enlightening than the traditional uh, presentations of the model as found, for instance, in my in my own textbook. OK, so I will be somewhat critical of of my own uh, of my own work in that regard. And well, I hope that um, those uh, who come to the lecture will will get um, something useful out of it. Great, thank you very much. Well, yeah, that all sounds very interesting, and I'm sure that everyone at the faculty is uh, very excited to hear your lecture in April. So thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. I look forward to it.